Adventures. Thanks for joining me for Montana Secrets of the Locals, Episode 2. Today we're going to start in Kalispell, which is actually where you will fly in. And then we're going to head to Polebridge to visit the Mercantile there, pick up a few huckleberry bear claws for our journey. And then we're going to head on to Bowman Lake. Bowman Lake is in Glacier National Park. We're going to take a few photos there. And then we're going to drive to Hornet Lookout. At Hornet Lookout, we're going to take the hike up about one mile to the top for some amazing 360 degree views. And then I'm going to personally share with you one of my favorite random secrets of the areas. So let's get going. When traveling in Montana, allow a little extra time to pull off at random spots along the drive. Here we stopped along the North Fork Road to stretch our legs and enjoy the beauty around us. Extended family came to visit, so we had ages ranging from 1 to 45 participating in all activities on this episode. And since our hike wasn't in Glacier National Park, we brought our dog Fletcher as well. The Polebridge Mercantile has been serving the community in remote northwest Montana for more than a century. It may be small, but the Merc serves as a general store, bakery, base camp, and vacation getaway, not only for its local residents, but for thousands of tourists every year. Today, we are stopping for some Huckleberry Bear Claws to take with us on our hike, and have lucked out because they are fresh out of the oven. Bear Claw for you guys? Yeah. Anything else? Before heading out, take a little time to explore the grounds. If you need to use the bathroom, the Merc does have an outhouse. However, if you're heading on to Bowman Lake, there is a nicer pit toilet at the Glacier National Park entrance just down the road. Bowman Lake is breathtaking, but it can get very busy, and the road to it is mostly single lane dirt with plenty of pothole adventures. This never stops us, but today the ranger told us parking was full, and we realized we forgot our Glacier National Park Pass, and didn't really feel like paying $30 for a quick visit. Our trip was in late June, which technically precedes the busy season. We arrived just after noon, so an earlier start is suggested if including Bowman Lake in your itinerary. These photos are of previous visits in summer and fall. The colors are rich in autumn. If you are afraid of heights, skip this road and hike along Bowman Lake instead. It is a relatively flat hike, so it's also great for those with young kids or lower physical activity levels. Hornet Lookout was constructed in 1922 as a fire lookout for the North Fork area. Ironically, in 2003, a wildfire burned the surrounding area. You can still see the effects of the fire, but benefits can also be found in the growth of bear grass and huckleberry bushes. The huckleberries provide a tasty snack while hiking. As you can see here, on a day when the Bowman Lake parking lot was full, Hornet Lookout has four vehicles, two of which belong to us. Ah. We took our $5 bear claw to the million dollar view and enjoyed them both. Just remember to pack out your food and trash. Leave no trace. Remember to bring enough water for your hike. We passed a couple with a St. Bernard that wouldn't go any further. We gave them a bottled water for her on our way up, and they left us this cute note. You should also bring bug spray, sunscreen, and bear spray. A quick snowball fight before beginning.
When hiking makes you hot, make a snow angel. Okay, so we just hiked up Hornet Lookout. I had to carry my three-year-old nephew because he wasn't walking. So if you're not in the best of shape and you can't carry your kids and they can't walk on their own, don't do this hike. But it's only a mile, just a little over a mile, 3,000 steps on my Fitbit and amazing views. So we're at the top and I'm super stoked to show you this outhouse because I think it's the outhouse with the best view ever. Check it out. Sit in the outhouse and that is your view. But here's inside. Hold your breath. <laughs> it has good views, but it still stinks like an outhouse. Okay, we're going in. Going in. And let me spin you around. And that should be your view. Pretty awesome. Also, there's flies here right now. This is the first time I've been up here with flies. That bite. So remember, bug spray. But I'm going to walk you back to Hornet Lookout, which you can actually rent for 25 bucks a night, I believe. You have to pack up your water and your food. So I'm going to get up here and show you what it looks like. If you want to stay overnight at the lookout, you can do so from mid June to late October for $20 a night. Reservations can be made six months to four days in advance. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please share this video and feel free to leave any questions and comments below. Have a great week. I'll see you guys next time.